Hey everyone, Rob Litton here from drumsaword.com bringing my online subscribers another full video song lesson. Today I'm going to show you how to play the song Just Looking by Stereophonics, drummed by the sadly missed Stuart Cable. This is a great song for beginners, this. It features different sections with different orchestrations of ideas. Um, it has some cross stick, it has a few rudiments in it, flams for example. So there's tom-tom use, there's lots and lots of stuff going on here. Even though each section isn't particularly complicated, um, I, I, uh, I still want to spend the time explaining this to you so that the beginner drummers out there, you new drummers out there, you drummers just coming to the drum kit perhaps for the first time, perhaps could sit down and have a good go at this song. Um, at the very least. So um, it starts with uh, verse one, uh, and I've written here on the chart, drums enter 42 seconds into the song. So um, it's not quite from the beginning. Um, and we come in with verse one with Stuart on the drums. And I've written here, note Stuart plays his right hand on the rim of a drum. So that's uh, very hard for me to replicate on this electric kit unless I assign a sound to a, mo to a pad, but I'm not gonna bother doing that. You can see me just playing my right hand down here on my knee when I was doing the recorded versions for you. But what Stuart's doing with his right hand, instead of playing on the hi-hat or right cymbal like most drummers would for sections like this, he's playing on the rim of a drum. So you can choose whatever drum you like, but as you can hear, I don't get the, 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 mess of, the metallic sound that a real tong would offer me. Um, perhaps use the floor tom on the side as well. You can use the, the side of the um, tom to create that, that plastic metal sound as well. So uh, that's all it means when I, when I say Stuart uh, plays his right hand on the rim of a drum. Even though I've written on the chart, notated as hi-hat, it's not. It's actually on a rim somewhere. But if you wanted to play it on the hi-hat, then that's absolutely fine as well. I don't think it's going to take anything away from the song. I think it's still going to sound cool. The only thing we're playing on the hi-hat, as we've got for these sections with the toms, is you will have to cross your arms over and underneath, which makes it a little bit tricky. So this, the advantage of this, playing on the rim, is you could choose the floor tom to your right, and your left hand is then open to play around the toms, as you'll see in a second. So uh, what I'm going to do, so you can hear it, is I'm going to play all of the examples on the hi-hat. When he's playing on the rim, I'm going to play on the hi-hat for this lesson, so you can hear something being played and not just... Um, uh, not just that, which is not very nice. <laughs> 